All right, I think I've answered all the questions uh, about the pros and cons of a trust. I interpreted that to mean a revocable living trust. When anybody says the term trust, the next question really should be, and I didn't do this, is what kind of trust are you talking about? Are you talking about a revocable living trust? Are you talking about an irrevocable trust? Are you talking about a testamentary asset protection trust or a testamentary credit shelter bypass trust? What kind of a trust are you talking about? Generally speaking, when people say trust in common parlance, they're talking about a revocable living trust. That's not always the case. I am a very big fan of testamentary trusts, trusts that are in your will, because since they're in your will, you likely will go see the lawyer when a death has occurred and that lawyer will help you figure out, do we fund this trust or do we not? And if we fund the trust as it's anticipated, as the plan was set up, then there's far more likelihood for success in making sure that the assets go where they're supposed to go with the least amount of hassle because it's a good plan. There's protection so that creditors won't get to the assets, divorcing spouses, Medicaid won't count the assets, uh, estate taxes won't be paid. So many benefits of testamentary trusts. What you need to overcome is the idea that probate is bad. Probate is only bad if it's a bad plan or if there was no reason for a probate. Then I agree, probate is bad. But if you get all of these benefits from probating a will, a good will with a good plan, well worth it. So how do you know what kind of a will or trust do you need? I gotta say that watching uh, webinars and videos is a good start, but it's only a start and you can read up on it and you can, you know, do your research and I encourage you to do so. I mean, on our website, elgwa.com, we have lots of resources, but frankly, it's not going to answer the question of, well, what's right for you? The only way you are going to know what is right for you is speaking to an attorney who is qualified in not just estate planning, but also in elder law.